So welcome to day two of our Lake District adventures. As you can see, it's just me and Gary left this morning. Dave left first thing. He couldn't wait to get away from the Butlins holiday camp that we'd slept in for the last two nights. It was horrific. Uh, people partying till about two o'clock in the morning. So we woke to some really claggy, low cloud conditions over Coniston Water. Me and Gary decided that we were going to get up and make the best of the morning that we had left in the Lake District. So headed down the edge of Coniston Water towards a, a small woodland that was recommended to us by Mikey the day before. The thought process was, it's overcast, we've got rain predicted. The wood sounded the logical and safer bet to go to. You can see that Gary's quite excited about that idea. I headed into the woods and very soon after headed back out again to the banks of Coniston where I'll pick up the story now. Well welcome to part two of my Lake District adventure. It's uh, Sunday morning now so another night in the tent last night. Not so noisy if I'm honest last night and we got a reasonable night's sleep. Um, so yeah woke up quite refreshed this morning five o'clock shower cup of tea on Dave's stove and we're set for the day so there's only me and Gary left uh, now uh, Dave went back this morning Darren went back yesterday and I left the other guys yesterday afternoon at Hodge Close and today or this morning the idea was to come down to just a local woodland walking distance from where our campsite is You'll have probably seen from the B-roll, it's extremely claggy, I think is the term they use here. Extremely claggy. We've got a lot of low cloud, um, showers of rain coming across. I literally just had to shelter just a few minutes ago from a quite a heavy shower. <clears throat> and there's an area of woodland here that is, as I say, within walking distance of the campsite. Spoke to Mikey about it yesterday. He said it's a decent woodland, so we thought we'd have a look and and see what we can find. The trouble I had, and this is an interesting point actually, um, you know, a lot of people say that if it's drizzly and rainy, you know, head to the woods, it's good opportunities. And they're, you know, they're not wrong, but you still need light. And it's, it is, as I say, very overcast, very um, claggy. Uh, and of course, there's no light at all in those woods. The patches that were lit, which I tried to find. I just couldn't find any decent trees. It's very busy in there. So believe it or not, I headed out of the trees. Um, <laughs> got a little bit lost. Had to go under a, a tiny little, call it a bridge, I guess, uh, with a stream underneath it. Had to wade through that to get over this fence. <laughs> Completely ruined the top of the camera bag, but it all clean. Uh, and I've headed down now to the lakeside, believe it or not. But I am still shooting trees. And what I've shot now, and what I've just done a few minutes ago, just before the rain shower came in, was there's a, the trees over the far side of uh, Coniston Water and all looking towards the southern end of Coniston Water are all completely clagged in, but it's creating some really nice mood and atmosphere. So what I've tried actually, I've tried a, a few long exposures. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how they'll come out, I think they'll be all right. I've taken a couple of just small long exposures, small sort of three by twos. And then uh, I've also tried uh, a panorama long exposure, 30 second long exposure of about five frames. Um, now again, I think that will work. There wasn't a lot of change in light throughout the scene, uh, throughout each of the frames. It remained pretty constant. So I think they'll stitch together okay, but it'll be interesting to see. Um, so I've got the tree on the right third here on the bank and then across towards the end of the water and then the trees on the bank on the left as you go. So yeah, <clears throat> be interesting to see how that one comes out. I've not really tried that before. But there is some nice little mood. I can see behind you now there's some nice light hitting the top of the trees on the far bank with some light above it. So I may just stay here and, and shoot some, some shots around here with a long lens on. It's really, really quite moody. Not like me, of course, who's really quite happy.
I'm really struggling now. It is raining quite a bit harder than it was earlier. And uh, although I'm under the trees, I'm still getting pretty wet. And I'm trying to keep everything dry as best I can. And if I'm honest, I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> it's hitting me now. But I've, I have found a composition here I quite like. Um, and let me show you it. So what we've got here is we've got some ferns that are really looking nice and autumnal now. Majority of these are browns and yellows with the odd green ones still uh, dotted in. And they act as a lovely carpet up to this um, oak tree with the stone wall in the base of it. And with a, you know the, the drizzly, misty rain in the background, um, I'll crop out the sky completely. Uh, I think I've cropped it out in camera, but if I haven't, I'll just crop any, out, out, uh, any sky out. And yeah, it'd be a nice simple shot. Um, I've had to focus stack it because there's obviously a lot of, I'm quite close, I'm low and I'm quite close to the camera. So I've focused on these reeds right next to my camera. I've uh, focused on the, re uh, sorry, not the reeds, the bracken next to my camera, the bracken in the mid ground, and then I've focused on the tree itself. So all at F11. So hopefully that should be enough to stack. Right, I'll show you this. Um, what I might do now, if I'm honest, because I am getting tired is I'm heading back, as I say, back home today. Uh, I'm going past, um, obviously through Yorkshire on the way back to where I live. And when I came, I noticed uh, sort of the Malham Ingleborough area, lots of lovely sort of, you know, trees with stone walls, very Yorkshire-ish. Um, uh, and I quite like those. So I might stop on the way back and get some shots of that. But I think I'm going to call it from here. It'll probably be quite a short vlog, but I hope you don't mind. I'm pretty tired. Um, but for now, I'm going to head back to the car. I might even have a kip before I drive back. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. So I didn't stop on the way back to take any more pictures. Um, I just drove through Yorkshire, enjoyed the countryside for what it is, um, spotted a few beautiful opportunities to go back to and shoot in the right conditions and maybe a dedicated journey to that part of the world is called for. Uh, but I went home and I had a kip because I was absolutely knackered, but what a cracking weekend. It really was. We had such a laugh and we enjoyed some really great conditions, I must admit. And yeah, it was a, just a great weekend all around, but now I'm looking to edit in my next set of pictures that I took last weekend at home. Again, um, fog predicted in the morning and oh my God, it lasted until half 10, 11 o'clock. It was absolutely glorious. I really enjoyed my morning there and I've had a quick look at the pictures now for the first time and I'm really happy with some of them. So I think some of them I'm gonna be uh, really excited to edit if I'm honest. So that's the next stage is to start editing these and this will be in a video, hopefully in the next week or so. So look out for that one. I'll leave you a little bit of a teaser uh, for some of the conditions I had just to whet your appetite for the next one. Uh, but until then, uh, thanks for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you soon.